All right, welcome to this MobiFlight release review video of the latest version 7.7 .7 that I just released a couple of days ago, actually to be very precise, two days ago on Saturday. And I'm super excited um, that I was able to add some new cool features into the software. MobiFlight is really like your cheap, easy, flexible way to build your home cockpit using Arduino and uh, flight simulators like X-Plane and, and FSX and Prepare 3D. So um, I would like to take you to the website and show you where you can find the information that I always provide. If you go to the download area, you will see that um, there is the uh, a possibility to download for free the latest version. And beneath there, you can find the release notes. And the release notes always um, give you a summary or, or just like uh, tell you real quick of what has happened, what's a new feature, what was an improvement or what has been uh, a bug fix since the last release. So let's look at the new features. And this is a cool one for all those guys that were that use PMDG um, add-on aircraft. So MobiFlight now comes with a specific uh, support for this. So what does that mean? Let's go to the uh, MobiFlight connector software. Um, you can see I have here uh, pretty much like a new configuration. I went to the inputs tab. And now I create a new config entry. And then here I pick a board, a device, an input device, and I, under action type, I now have a new action type, which is called PMDG event ID. So um, you don't have to do event ID like the, the standard one, you can use the new one. And there you have uh, presets that come uh, for 737, 777, and 747. And you can just choose from that list and it's organized um, like for in, for the different areas um, in, in the cockpit, the different functions that you wanna assign to your input devices like switches or encoders. And then you just pick it from here and then you say use, which preloads the preset as also FSUI PC offsets, for example. And then as you can see, uh, you now have also a very convenient list uh, to define your mouse parameter um, that has changed to like uh, it used to be just a numeric value that you would have to put in here. And um, once you select uh, uh, an existing event, then uh, the this custom input field is gonna go away. If you say, um, for example, for the auto brake switch or something where you wanna set a specific value, you can also use a custom parameter. So that, that's what custom para means. And then from here, you put like, I don't know, like one for position one or two for position two and whatnot. So you can see it's super easy now. Uh, you don't have to uh, have a, a list, look up the event ID and do everything manual. So I hope you like that. I think it makes it a lot easier to configure your input devices for the PMDG add-on aircrafts, which are fantastic add-ons. Okay, so improvements, uh, let's look at improvements. We have the uh, two, issue 219, which says delay with two one encoder. So that means if you have this kind of encoder uh, and you would spin it in one, or like twist it in the uh, old version, there was a noticeable delay, uh, kind of the events kept trailing in even though you stopped dialing, you know? And then um, I actually was able to, to fix that problem by improving or increasing the um, kind of the number of times per second that, that we're reading messages from the Arduino on the computer side. So that actually now um, took care of it and it should not be an issue anymore. If you still experienced uh, problems with um, these events uh, still coming in, trailing or delay. It's hard for me to find the right word, but I hope you you know what I'm talking about. Um, you might want to check that you have debug disabled because um, that might that might be um, interfering with this because there's such a high high amount of of events that come from the encoder that if you have debug enabled, then it would still have this effect. So make sure if you still, after updating to this new version, you still have or experience that problem, make sure that you turn off debug. Another improvement that's uh, number 182, uh, provide a complete list of FSUI PC presets. So, uh, we have now over 360 FSUI PC offsets that you can 
use the chip with MobiFlight as preset. So what does that mean? Um, let's go to the output and let's create a new uh, new config and I just give it give it a, a name. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we go here to the uh, preset section and there you can see it's also ordered alphabetically and uh, categorized by category, group by category, where you have autopilot, cockpit, controls, and so on and so forth. Like um, FSU IPC, if you look into the documentation um, of the offsets, there will be like over 1000, I believe, offsets is actually. And then we created a list and also uh, Pitsman82 and Stefan Ho, he, um, they helped me. We went over that list. We decided, okay, these are like, they make sense. This, these offset make sense. Uh, not all the offsets that are available make really sense for a home cockpit or are typically going to be used by, by anybody. So we uh, reduced the size or the, we reduced the number. We reduced the list uh, size down to 360 plus a couple of more that, that um, were already available as presets before. So I hope you like that too. Um, it's going to help you get started faster if you are not so familiar with uh, configuring FSU IPC offsets. So I'm pretty sure the, the one that you're looking for or the, the most important ones are in that list. And here again, also, if you if you feel that there is a either an offset missing or if you think that um, like you use one of the presets and it turns out that it doesn't work as, as, as expected, please let us know. Just go on the forum, post there or post in the comment section here and on the video and then we'll take care of uh, fixing it because you could imagine that like 360 offsets, uh, we cannot check every um, individual one, every single one. So uh, we hope um, it's still useful and if you have problems just let, let us know and then in a future update we can we can fix it okay so that was this and the last one um 140 that means pndg right click event exceeds value range of values was a problem with the old way of configuring pmdg um, event ids where you did not have this drop down that i just uh, that i just showed you and um, basically, uh, since there are some internal things at MobiFlight, when you would put in the, um, I believe it was actually here, right single, if you wanted to use this mouse flag, uh, then there was an error message showing up that this was not a, a, valid, a valid number, just because it was outside of the range that the input field supported but well there was a workaround it was not nice it's fixed now with this way of, of of defining it i think it's so much better and so much more usable now and user friendly so please let me know um because that was the last fix uh, that was the last up uh, part of the update let me know if you like the update if you missed something if you experience any trouble whatever problems on upgrading you can either post here in the in the comment section, but I believe uh, the, the better place is uh, the forum. Go to the forum, um, ask your questions there. There's always almost uh, all the time somebody there watching and then really a community is so responsive. It's, it's great. Um, and again, thanks for having such a great community of guys that help each other. It's so much fun. Um, be part of MobiFlight community and um, I hope I'll see you on the forum soon. If not, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to release more videos from now on um, more often. And um, yeah, uh, that's it. Have a great day and enjoy MobiFlight, enjoy Flight Simin. Uh, see you next time.